Come on, camera. Okay. Hello there. It's me. Ah, my thumb's in the way. We have a problem. Oh, my camera's upside down. Why? Hello there. And uh, today we have a new video. The ballistic pencil. Now you're probably wondering, what's a ballistic pencil? Well, there's many things here, and uh, I don't know. A ballistic pencil, I guess. Basically, well, there was actually a design called the ballistic knife, and um, oh look, it's Bob. Hello, Bob. Well, I got a surprise for you. You see. Ballistic pencil. There you go. How are we gonna film this? Hey guys, it's me. Happy hour. And we're back with another video. Uh, today we're gonna be looking at something a bit more compact, more smaller, more portable. And it's the ballistic pencil. It's not entirely new, but I decided to give my own, hopefully, uh, unique spin on the whole concept. So, um, yeah, let's just, uh, Try it out. Here we go. Let me get the pencil. Oh no, it's stuck on my pen. Here we go. Plastic pencil. Let's get close. I hope this thing hits him because I cannot see through these goggles because it's foggy. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Let's go look at the pen. The thing go anyway. <sighs> All right. So. Oh, look at the workbench. It's been used. Anyway. <clears throat> Let me zoom out first. Oh, it is zoomed out. Okay, so you're probably wondering, what is all this? This is uh, a ballistic pencil Mark One. As you can see here, this is my first attempt at making that ballistic pencil type thing. Oh, man, I wish I had a stand. So, this is the pencil right here. As you can see, it has a pin, and uh, this is the first attempt at making it. So what it would do is, I lost the cap, but in there, there's a little internal uh, mounted spring, and this thing would be there. To load it, this one was a bit more archaic, more brutal, I guess. And uh, see here, the reason why it's a Mark One, you can tell. Oh my, look at my hands. I need lotion. <laughs> uh, and you would actually take the pen and put it through this uh, conveniently placed hole and then into here so the the, the, uh, the little pen would keep that in place until you pulled it out. That's what made this so not user friendly. My second version which I'll show you in a few seconds after I load this and uh, yeah after I load it you, uh, yeah, it's more easier to use but not by much. Here we go. So you hold this. Oh frick. Yeah, it's not really easy. So you go like that, and you would actually... Uh, I'm not used to doing it on camera. Nope, nope. Okay, let me... Put, I think the way I used to do it, I can't even remember how to use my own. There we go, okay. Is I would try to line it up right here. Oh, oh, almost got it, got it. Get in there. Yeah, don't expect me to be using this one too much. Ah, there we go. As you can see, it's in there. I would take out the little internals, but I'm too uh, complicated to do that. So this is the Mark One. Uh, let me take off the camera real quick. Ooh. All right, so here's the Mark Two. Mark Two. As you can see, it is very, very much. Uh, the same size but more thinner as you can see and it doesn't have this weird little key ring which I took from my month rock star drink I I looked cool contrast with the pen so so that's mark one this is mark two mark two is, this is a basically a bottom uh, modified mm, beak pencil or geek if I can this thing will focus on me Come on, camera. Come on! There we go. I guess that's the closest I can get. And as you can see, it's modified internally and externally. As you can see, 
it's based on the ballistic knife, which is a, in case you're wondering, I, I'm not an expert on it, or I don't really know much, but I think the ballistic knife was a, more known as a plume knife, I think. It's basically a spring-operated knife, basically, that you would load in here, and by depressing, I don't think this is an actual version, just a concept art, but uh, if you were to push this button out, it would release the catch and launch the knife. Mm, that's not good. Anyway, it would launch the knife. The idea, I think, it was, um, I think, did I mention it was Russian made? Yeah, it was Russian made. Uh, the idea of the, the ballistic knife was to help give the the people using it a uh, a better fighting chance in close quarters so if you don't have a gun I think this was supposed to be the answer to that so if you had to you could just push the little button and it will launch a knife at someone in close range if you can't get close enough uh, I'm not sure if, if it was successful or not I just I don't really know all of it I just know the basics so there we go I try to emulate that on this by giving the little little red little uh Flanger, not a flanger, trigger here. I've seen on on there. This one doesn't have a safety pin on like the real one, so there we go. I guess you can say the safety pin is this one right here. To uh, activate it, you would, you would, uh, let's see here. There we go. You would take off the end cap, and inside, there it is. That's how it works. Okay. So here is the ballistic pencil. Let me zoom out. But I am zoomed out. This is the ballistic pencil, Mark II. As you can see here, I even try to mark it, the ballistic pencil, by uh, modifying it. Come on, there we go. It says ballistic pencil. And uh, what it would do is once you push this down, there we go. Now, it's of course right now it's not harmless and that's okay with me um, for now the idea of it it was supposed to uh, give it a more uh, more or less uh, inconspicuous appearance per se so uh, what it means is you could uh, when you hold it like this you won't notice that the thing is right here actually you can hold it like a normal pencil if I put this back on as you can see, you can hold it like a normal pencil, like as if you could write. Well, of course, you're not going to write anything because it doesn't work, but you could put a piece of lead in there and make it look like it's working. You could write, and then when someone you see is there, you would just simply pop off the safety and shoot them with it. I can't believe I just said that. Anyway, the reason why I said this was easier than the other one, but not by much, is to load it this time, you actually just got to pull out the front, Make sure the spring goes in last. So this goes in head first. And, and to make it easier, you hold this down and kind of tilt it up in a way. And then simply insert this back in there. Oh, crap. I messed up. We're going to have a problem. There we go. It's loaded. Now, the reason why I couldn't do much to it is because the inside would not leave enough space for me to do any workings to the actual design itself. I could try and work something out, but, you know, I don't want to deal with that. So, um... Uh, so, let's uh, test out the range on these things, see how accurate they are, and uh, see what other possible uses you could probably get out of this thing. So right now we're going to do a range test first before we actually test the accuracy so we know how far the thing goes. So I'm getting out my trusty, trusty tape measure. Let's go measure up the distance. Whoa, 60 feet. I could, I mean, if we can make it that far, I'd be happy. But there we go. There we go. So, let me see if I can get a better view. There we go. So from here all the way there. So let's um let's try this out. First up is the Mark One, which is a pain to use. 
So uh, let's see. Get to pull this pin out. Gonna watch it slightly at an angle so it can get the best possible trajectory. Hope you guys can see this in three, two, one. Satisfying noise. Okay, so that one's out. This one I uh, have high hopes for. Hopefully it works. Is the um, ballistic pencil part mark part mark two? Looks more cooler. I hope. So here you just uh, pop that off and let's hope it works. And get a new. Uh, hope you guys can see that. Ooh, in three, two, one. Oh my goodness. It actually, actually, um, let me, uh, unmount the camera real quick. It actually went the full distance, which is surprising. Okay, so, uh, let's see here. Primer, come on, work with me. There we go. So going all the way here first is the Mark 1. So this one was only able to make it about 11 feet 6 inches. That's good for what it is. And then here, the champion goes 16 feet and keeps going at the end of the scale. It actually bounced off the chair here, so it would have went, I'm guessing, about two more inches, maybe five. But for what it is, 16 feet, nine inches. There we go. You can't really argue. Mainly because of the very modified spring I used. The spring I used was from a G2 uh, Gen Pen, a gel pen. And if you ever took one of those apart, whew, you would see the springs on there is a, well, here we go. They're pretty beefy springs. The original cut it in terms of uh, able to make it work, but the range was left to be desired, I guess. So I uh, beefed it up with this spring, and that's why this is more shorter than the original one. But as you can see, the distance, it, it, it speaks for itself. So let's test the accuracy. Okay, so there's Bob. And where's my goggles at? <sighs> it's gonna be a long day of testing, isn't it? Um, let's just do this. All right. So for test one. Let's see if I can hit this guy. Barely just hit him. It was about to already go down before I even got past. And it's this is only the first test, so that doesn't look good. But anyway, personal favorite ballistic pen mark two. Huh. Well, I think I may have overcompensated because I know this thing is accurate. I'm hoping. Let's try again. There we go. So that's test one. And uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. That's about five feet away. Let's move it back to ten feet and see if any of these pants get hit at all. My money, personally, is on this one because better spring. Okay, so now, let me prove it to you, let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 11 feet away. <laughs> and let's just see if we can hit this again. This, uh, we're 10 feet away, and I highly doubt that this thing, Mark 1, is going to hit it, but let's see. 3, 2, 1. Nope, it fell too short. I even gave it a high angle. So that one's out. At least in terms of if you can hit it from this distance. This one might. Alright, let's try it. Well, it appears that it misses. Mainly because of the fact that since these don't have any fins on it. Let me just get it. Even though this can go the distance, and it can go 16 feet, there's absolutely no way for it to actually be accurate, because there's no, well, there's no it, and there's no way to slice it, so it, it's pretty much just tumbling in midair as you go to your target, so it could possibly go here, here, or actually hit him, or go somewhere off the distance. And besides, it, these pens weren't intended for long range, they're meant to be like, close range. So, yeah. Oops, dropped it. <laughs> so these are just the uh, pens right here. These are the Mark 1 and 2 ballistic pencils. 
I am hopefully one day going to make a Mark III where it looks like this. Uh, this is just a normal pen, hasn't been modified yet, but hopefully this will be a lot better than these and hopefully look cooler than this. So, um, so I guess uh, right, then, right now, oh, for, what I was intending going to have for this modular system, hopefully, was that this could have uh, multiple types of tips, one being a just a sharp pit tip, which pretty much was like a pin thumbtack on uh, on the tip here. Have a blunt tip, which is pretty much a standard, or also have a hypodermic tip, <laughs> which would pretty much be like a tranquilizer dart in close range. You would shoot at someone, eject whatever it be, like a uh, tranquilizer agent or something, and uh, make them fall asleep. But for I did I couldn't do that because one, the weight would have been an issue again. Going back to the spring, spring is a uh, barely. Well, barely, not barely, but it's strong enough to go to distance, but mainly because of the weight. If you even put, like, maybe the weight of, uh, uh, let's see here. This tiny, tiny little th uh, pen tip right here would probably drastically decrease the range tenfold or something. That's why I wasn't able to make those suggested, uh, um, changeable tips. Also, the, the diameter of this was, uh, let me see, man, was pretty, pretty tight, so, as you can see, let me put the pull in there, as you can see, it was pretty tight, so I, I'm not sure if I was going to be able to put the tip, maybe, but I don't think I was ever going to pull it off. So in the end, what do these mean? Well, not much really. I just wanted a, a uh, been inspired to make a little ballistic pencil because of this right here. But what I guess I could possibly do is in the future, if I can get a pen that's pretty big, like this, or not this big, but like maybe a good size, medium sized pen, but also functional, like. Maybe like one of the size of these, or maybe a pen the size of this. I could possibly make a magazine-fed ballistic pen. How would that be for a, a, a concept? Or maybe even better yet, have an internal mechanism that will feed what I'm... Uh, not feed, but like, you could select what type of dart. There would be like six chambers. Two for basic, two for the pointy, two for the hypodermic, and then two for just a sharp pointed tip. So what I would be like, you can twist one dial once and it'll go to one type of dart or twist it this way and it'll go to another type of dart. But for now, I will settle for a single shot, one-off type gadget for now. So that is it. That is the ballistic oh pencil. And uh, what started off as this turned into something like this. Cool. Uh, functionality wise it's probably just be best to mess around with your friends with but that's it well I guess that's it my name is happy hour or uh, yeah happy hour from happy tech and I'm signing off until then as always be chill <laughs>